Hey guys, it's Noah Thompson. I'm from Louisa, Kentucky, and you guys are watching Mountain Citizen. And uh, right now we're in the building that I used to work work with with all these boys uh, before I got on American Idol. So. The things that I've been doing ever since the show has ended, I've just kind of been making trips back and forth from Nashville, getting to experience some things, man, with uh, with my whole team. They're kind of showing me around, showing me, you know, what's gonna, what I'm going to be doing in the long run, and I'm just learning as I go, man, but I'm getting to experience song rights and all kinds of different things, man, so it's we've had a lot of fun. After the show first started, you know what I mean, you go from nobody knowing who you are, and you come back home, everybody knows who you are. You know, like my face is all over the freaking town, and they need to take that crap down. And you know, it's just a lot of stuff. It's it's completely different, man. But it's it's so neat to see how these kids act about me, and you know, what I mean, it's really cool. It's really cool, though. It's just a life change. Favorite thing about Nashville? Probably I don't know. Uh, just the just because Nashville is just the music city. You know what I mean? Like no matter where you go in that town, man, there's music blaring everywhere. Like you hear it, you can hear it from miles away. You know what I mean? Music's everywhere in Nashville, and I think that's what's so special about that place. I definitely don't want to be that guy that's writing songs about trucks and girls and all that. I don't want to be that guy. That's not me, man. I want to write something real. You know what I mean? And that's what I try to explain to people. Like I. I'm trying to, like, I'm not, I don't want to be this pop country artist either, you know what I'm saying? I want to write something, I, I don't know, man. I, I think I'm, I'm more of a, I'm more on like a, I wouldn't say a Chris Stapleton level, but I, I love his, I love his type of music, man. He's just, he's got his own, he's got his own sound, and I think that's so unique, and I want something like that, you know what I mean? Like, I want something real, something that means something, you know what I mean? That's the kind of stuff I want to write, you know, so. That's what I'm shooting for anyways. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Well, I gotta go Kentucky Fried Chicken because that's where I'm from, man. <laughs> you can't, <laughs> you know, have to be Kentucky Fried Chicken. Well, you know, I actually think, I mean, everybody knows the story with Arthur signing me up for the show and everything, and I believe Arthur kind of got a little clip of me singing that song and he sent it into producers before you know I had auditioned or anything so they knew that I could sing that song so throughout the show you know once I got once I made it to the top 24 I sang that song and uh, you know they the producers had known that I could sing that so they just kind of came at me with it like well, why don't you sing this song and I was like no nah. <laughs> I was like no I didn't really want to sing that song in the first place at all but because I had barely known the song you know what I mean I just had to learn it as I went but once I uh, got that part down, you know, I don't think, I think it was just kind of unique for everybody to hear me sing a song like that. And that's why now, after the show has ended, they kind of thought it'd be a good idea to make a whole country version of it. And that's what I'm pretty excited about it coming out, man. I think it's gonna do pretty good. We, me and Arthur are too freaking, we're too goofy to sit down. We, we can't, we can't take ourselves serious. It's just, we've tried though, don't get me wrong. It's just, uh, you know, me and Arthur are more just good buddies, man, than trying to sit down and write a song. You know, we got, it's, it's, there's, a serious, there's a seriousness to it, and then there's, you know, playing the music, whatever, you know, but it's, uh, but I mean, it all started out with me, Arthur and Zach. You know, like it, we just—they were the—they were the two that were really always pushing me in music-wise. You know, and uh, that's kind of what it, it, all it ever was. You know, Arthur signed me up. I think he honestly—I don't even think he actually actually meant to sign me up. I think he accidentally did. So that's kind of what's so unique about all this, man. It's just crazy how this all happened. <laughs> He like he signed me up, but he didn't know he actually signed me up. Like he didn't know if it actually worked. You know what I mean? So we here we are waiting. We didn't think it actually worked. You know what I mean? So he accidentally truly signed me up. <laughs> he didn't really he didn't mean to. So he didn't even know if he did it right. So that's what's funny about it. So yeah, it's wild, man. You know I'm working on some stuff, some new songs, and I'm really looking forward to get some new music out because I'm tired of playing the same old songs all the time. <laughs> you know. But I'm excited to uh, get to work and really put get some new stuff out there, man. Some new craft and everything. I hope everybody kind of enjoys it. You know, that's all I gotta say about it.
Not really sure how to feel about it Something in the way you move Makes me feel like I can't live without you And it takes me all the way And I want you to stay And I want you to stay I want you to stay